Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. What a great week we've had so far here at uh, Top Gun Options. Week ain't over yet. Actually, I'm going to head down to Pompano uh, and fly tomorrow. I think we're doing a three-ship, maybe even a four-ship formation flight. Going to fly in the morning, land, get some chow, and then get airborne, hopefully before the Blue Angels fly over. So hopefully we'll be airborne, uh, not that close to the Blue Angels, but uh, near near my bros, uh, of course, clearly the varsity team. I think the JV team, the uh, Thunder Chickens, are going somewhere else. Uh, so going to be a good day. And of course, our WTF indicator, whiz to fly on Friday indicator, uh, is 100%, man, uh, especially with the uh, expected horrific jobs numbers uh, due out tomorrow morning, the uh, NAM farm payroll. But uh, we've ha we've been uh, knocking it out of the park this week. We knocked out a good debrief this morning. Hey, do me a favor uh, real quick, administrative items I need to cover. We're still sitting in IRS hell, uh, especially with this COVID thing and the government. Isn't it, it cr crazy? We got like 30 million Americans out of work. Not one of them works in the government or is a politician. How do people in the government not lose their job? Anybody going to the DMV? Do you think that there's like 30 employees sitting in the DV, uh, DMV for the past couple of months? Why are they getting paid? Why aren't they suffering like the rest of America? Oh, that's right. Now you all that hard earned tax money that you pay pays for them to not work, right? Don't get me started. But anyway, sitting in IRSL, it should be, we should have our uh, 501c3 or whatever it is designation here soon. But uh, we want to get our social media following going here. Uh, do me a favor. Go to Instagram. If you got an Instagram account, Instagram.com. Top Gun Fighter Foundation. Get over there and throw a couple follows on there so we can start uh, building that. And do me a favor and head over to Facebook. Yeah, I know I can't stand it as much as you do, but for now it's the devil we dance with uh, until Donald Trump Jr. or whoever launches like neutral or conservative social media instead of the Nazis here on Facebook and YouTube. Got to deal with them for now. Facebook.com slash Top Gun Fighter Foundation. Head over there and give this a like. Give it a like uh, and a follow. We're starting to put content on here and everything like that. Our mission objective is to prevent, to stop, to stamp out uh, veteran suicide, man. On average, 22 veterans a day uh, disappear off the face of this planet by their own hand. It's heartbreaking. We can win wars and then we lose the homecomings. It's it's just awful. And I, I want to, I got to, I got to, we're going to do something about it. Uh, also over on the uh, YouTube page, uh, I've knocked out a, about a 20 minute brief yesterday. Why Top Gun Options uses paper training accounts. It's pretty funny uh, how there are services online that are, uh, we will be engaging in not only civil, but uh, looking out uh, for some potential uh, criminal wrongdoing out of some of these folks. Uh, and they're going to be hearing uh, from us. Uh, soon. Um, we don't break the law. That's what's interesting is being accused by a Wall Street felon of not breaking the law. So it's, it's it, you know, you live in bizarre. I know this is bizarre world enough as it is, but it's funny being attacked online by a guy who spent time in prison for three years. He's a felon, a Wall Street criminal and giving me grief for actually following the, the law. Yeah. Go figure. We're taking legal action against that, and you'll be hearing about that soon. But I explain in 20-minute detail everything, so please head over to our YouTube page, and it'll map it all out why we actually follow the law, and we've been in business for 10 years. Uh, and we it, it, It's only black and white, folks. There ain't no gray. Uh, and uh, there are other folks out there who clearly are throwing spears who most likely should go back to jail or uh, either may end up there. Great day today. We launched our Afterburner self-directed investment squadron. All, how many, 50, 54, 55 lifetime members have immediate access to this. We already talked about an EWZ bear call spread. Look at this. Uh, EWZ bear call spread, 13 cents. Sent that out a couple hours ago. I think it's down here at, uh, what's the current mid-market on this thing? Seven cents. Where's market? Eight. Look at that. Already made potentially, uh, uh, what's that, seven? Jeez, oh, I have to do math. A, a four, five, five, five times three, 15. $1,500 potentially if you got uh, filled on that EWZ bear call spread that was sent out to this uh, to the full afterburner uh, folks as well as the, uh, the folks in the brand new, this was just launched today, the afterburner self-directed uh, investment squadron. So what a freaking fantastic uh, day today. And uh, earlier in our brief, we looked at a bear call call spread on the S uh, and P 500 that were filled on. It's the uh, 290, 290, um, 
uh, it's 290. 2920, 2925 bear call spread. I sent that out at, at about ten. Tried to get $1.55, then $1.20, then $1. I chased it uh, all the way down. The S&P 500, it's a 300 400 bucks the s&p 500 is starting to roll over man it is rolling over um let's take a look here well let's go over here these charts are quicker over on this side spx we did a great job trading and the full afterburner spx day look at that there's the s&p 500 man a little rocky at the open little climb and now we're giving it back into the close here so that trade that uh, one day bear call spread is already uh, looking very profitable uh all right quick brief um this is getting uglier. The president, uh, President G, great dude, great backswing. Respect G, love G, love everything, love everything. That love affair is over. Should have been over a long time ago. They are our mortal enemy. They're in this for a thousand years. Remember the initial uh, trade deal when, that they walked away from? Uh, and Trump got furious. It's because they're like, we're not going to, we're going to outlast this guy. He's going to be impeached. He's either going to be impeached or not reelected. We'll do everything, and we'll end up working with a Joe Biden who doesn't even know what zip code he's in. Uh, and he got furious and tightened the screws. And good job on you, Mr. President, doing that. But now we're walking away from each other. And remember, folks, words can start wars, right? Top trade negotiators from the U.S. and China to meet as Trump threatens to scrap the deal. Ooh boy. Uh, a little bit of a news flash for you, Mr. President. Even when they signed the quote-unquote phase one trade deal, it wasn't going to be worth the paper it was written on. Uh, Bolsonaro down in Brazil, that dude's suffering, even though he doesn't care about his people suffering. Uh, the people are dying. What's he going to – he will sell China whatever they need for a fraction of what they can get it from the United States. And Xi Jinping is going to use that to his advantage. Hey, Donald, aren't you a capitalist? Shouldn't I be able to go buy stuff cheaper somewhere else? Isn't that what you're doing? Aren't you fleeing China for Vietnam and all these countries or you're demanding they come home? This is going to get ugly, folks. It's going to get ugly. Why am I vamping about this? Because you remember this, the good old days, this rip your face off rally in the fall? What were, what was one of the main reasons of this rally? Phase one, beautiful trade deal. Nobody does trade deals better than me. Believe me. And it's gone. It's over with. So market all the way up here on trade deal and market all the way down here on COVID market all the way up here on fed. There's a lot of wobbly, you know, we're on a three legged stool right here. And, and one of the legs is about to get uh, cut off weekly unemployment claims, folks, 3.2 million more, more filed last week. We're in the 30s. We're in the, up, the government saying we're up in the what? The 20s, mid 20s. Now, nah, a macro buddy of mine, Ivy league, uh, very respected uh, economist, easily in the 30s, whiz, low 30s. <sighs> That's not good. That does not bode well for our economy, our country, our anything, folks, especially when this keeps happening. The market keeps going up. Doesn't matter, man, that Jeffrey Gunlock is really pissed at the Fed. If the Fed does start buying ETFs broadly and in size in response to recent requests, they do so not to let down the buyers who front, front ran, front running. I talk about that subtle plug in my paper trading video. We don't front run here at Topkin Options like other services, and that's against the law and illegal and it's unethical. Isn't that great? You're probably in a service right now where the dude or the lady places a trade in their personal account, then tells you about it so they can make some money off of it. It's a crime and it's a disgrace. And the people that can criticize me for having a paper trading account do it. Anyway, uh, the buyers who front ran the Fed and should not be well received by Main Street. What is he saying here? Well, first of all, he's sucking on sour milk or spilled milk, or I don't even know what the saying is. He got short back here, folks. I told him he was wrong. I'm short now. We're imploding. No, we're not, Jeff. He was my spirit animal. Now he isn't anymore. He's wrong. This market will keep going higher, folks. Until when? I don't know. But not now. It's not going to implode. Because, folks, if this stock market implodes based on over $10 trillion in money pumped into it, you're not going to care about your portfolio, folks. It'll be Planet of the Apes. If we rip through the March lows and, and everything the Fed did can't support it, we're in trouble. That's literally Mad Max. I'm not joking, folks. 30 million, 40 million Americans out of work in a stock market that keeps going up. That is a moral hazard. There is a biblical wave of bankruptcies coming. 
It's not going to be good. We need more stimulus. Holy crap, we've already spent or, or earmarked to spend $10 trillion. Ordinary Americans are getting super pissed. You ready for this? Another buddy, round three, denied a small business loan. He's like, we didn't get this documentation. He's like, dude, look. I'm like, that's what they're asking for. I sent it three times. Well, guess what? I don't want to tell Anthony that every time he hits submit and they, quote, process it, he banks with Chase. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Now, maybe the fourth time. That's what I'm starting to hear from people. Like, dude, I applied four times. It took me the fourth time. What? Bank fees. Those people on Wall Street would push their own mother in front of a bus. They're making fees on the loans, folks, even the ones they cancel. We did work on it. We reviewed. No, they didn't review it. They pressed decline. It's a disgrace, folks. I'm warning you that bad is coming. Stocks keep rallying despite lack of visibility on the economy. Look at this, folks. This chart will wake you the hell up. On the left is the S&P 500 with Amazon in it. Dun, 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 dun. Here's the S&P 500 without Amazon. Wah, wah, wah. Wow. But again, this is comical, this whole spilled milk thing out of uh, Jeffrey Gunlock. He's more or less, he's short. This is, the, that tweet is is wanking from somebody who's short. Dude, Jeff, I agree with you, man. I agree with the reasons that the market is up here is bad. It's the Fed. It's the moral hazard. You ready for this, man? You should know this if you manage $100 billion in assets at Double Line Capital. You trade the market you have, not the one you want. Him being short wants that. Me being whatever, as an options trader, I don't care. It can go up, I make money. It goes down, I make money. It goes sideways, I could potentially make money. Duh. But that sounds like a short who's getting his ass handed to him. I'm waiting for the day where I see a tweet from Jeffrey Gunlock that says, that's it, I'm done. I'm smoking the hopium. I thought this guy was a hell of a lot smarter than this, and he's clearly not. He's right about all of this stuff and being upset about this and the Fed and everything. I am too, dude. But join the party until it's time to leave. We left early, right there and right there. I'm the only guy on the face of this planet that I know of. I've been doing research. I'm writing a book. I got buddies out researching. I have two people working on a book right now. Not one person nailed it to the day and within two or three days here, two and a half days. I did. Not that guy. And I'm telling you, Jeff, I agree with you, but the moral hazard is already there. What do you think? The Fed's going to wake up tomorrow and go, you know what? You're right. Let's just stop printing money out of thin air and see what happens. That's when you will crash through these March lows and the market goes to zero and everybody's got their guns out. You think that's going to happen, Jeff, in an election year? You think Steve Mnuchin, Donald Trump, uh, and Jerome Powell want to be responsible for the biggest implosion and they are trying to get people back to work so okay i gotta go i got a lot of stuff to do now uh i want to go on here and check and see how our afterburner uh, sds folks uh, are if you are a lifetime member i sent you an email this morning you're already tagged you can be in here and talking away um and then so this is free for lifetime well it's included with your lifetime membership uh, otherwise you can shoot support uh, an email it's five thousand dollars for six months or ten thousand dollars for year every six months it's a five thousand dollar membership fee uh if you want to get into the full afterburner which has me in there it's under strike fighter financial it's a separate uh, company it is a self-directed uh, investment club under the uh, sec regulations and i'm in here and there was some great work these guys did some great work this morning pounding ewz uh literally into the dirt ladies and gentlemen they moved this market where's the open right here look at this this was all the uh, full afterburner traders right there. They pounded the May 15th, the May 20th, 21 put, look, uh, look at this, 9,000. That is them. They did that, 9,000. They popped up on uh, unusual option scanners. It's just, it's, if you want more information, shoot me an email about the, uh, the full afterburner uh, uh, program. It's just, it's, this has exceeded my wildest expectations of uh, of impact uh, and 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 helping people learn how to trade equity options. Okay, like I said, go please throw some follows on Top Gun Fighter Foundation on Instagram as well as throw some likes on Facebook uh, and please share it on yours as well. We have got to stop veteran suicide, man. I lost a buddy four or five months ago. I mean, just wife, two kids out of the, uh, uh, never mind. Uh, let's end on a high note.
Let's go see. Let's go fly tomorrow, which means the market's going to crash uh, and see the blues. Can't wait to see my see the varsity team. OK, have a great rest of your day. I most likely won't be doing a Friday market wrap up tomorrow. I'm flying my ass off tomorrow. And that's what I do on Fridays. OK, have a great rest of your day. Happy hunting. Make sure you hedge and God bless you and God bless America.